Welcome back, everybody. We're going to continue painting this character, and we'll start with some color adjustments and then move on to painting. Let's get to it. Um, now I want to make any changes to any colors if I don't like any of the colors. So let me play with, I'm going to play with the armor for a second and see if I like anything else. So the armor is pretty much just the armor. So to change it, all I have to do is hit Command U, do a hue and saturation layer. So you can do all sorts of things here. Ooh, darker looks cool. Dark gray. Ooh, black. Huh. That looks a little badass. I think I'm gonna have to go with the uh, dark. And make it like black armor, I think. Yeah, that looks cool. All right, so we don't want to go all the way to black because then we can't paint it. So we're going to go to kind of dark gray, charcoal gray. Let me just slide these and see. Yeah, I think it looks good with the... Uh, Hmm. What a green tint. This is a tint in the uh, color of the dark brown. Yeah, I think like that. I think that's more kind of bluish, I think. I think I'm going to keep that thing going like that. I like it. All right, I'm gonna touch up a couple places here because that looks sloppy. And I just selected the color by holding down Option. All right, and again, that was the short, well, you can go back and it's gonna tell you what it is again, but you can go back and look and see if you don't know how I changed the color. You can go back and uh, see how to get to hue and saturation. Okay. Okay, and that's kind of, you know, that just goes for everything, really. Now, if I want to change the color of something where there's two different colors on, like let's say I want this hat to be more like these, uh, the color of these boots. I'm going to get my magic wand tool. Let me find the hat. It's on the leather layer. Go to my leather layer. I'm going to select my hat, but look, it selected everything. Don't want that. I need to change my selection to be uh, contiguous, right? Deselect, Command D, select the hat. Now it just got the hat because it's contiguous. It means it has to be, you know, uh, touching or contained within itself there. Now I can take my uh, paint bucket and I'm just going to select the color here from the uh, boots, dump it onto the hat, command D to deselect, see if I like it or not. Yeah, I think I do. I think I was, I'm just looking at my history, going back and forth. I think I think I like the new color better. All right, once again, I'm going to hit save, command S, all right, like Samurai Cowboy. So that's the blocking done. What we're going to do now is paint it. Okay, let's have at this. First thing we need to do is decide on a light source. So, 
I'm just looking at the picture in case there's anything that indicates a light source, but it looks pretty flat in terms of like no like heavy shadows anywhere. Um, which is pretty much the way. Oh, I see one right here. So actually underneath this uh, shoulder, kind of shoulder pad, I don't know what it is, shoulder guard or whatever it is, um, there's a little bit of shadow. So obviously the light wouldn't be coming from the bottom, which isn't very typical anyways. Usually we're uh, bringing the, sh the, uh, the light from the top. So uh, we get the shadow on the bottom, light from the top somewhere. We just have to decide what side. So let's keep it pretty basic, and since he's facing to the right, I'm gonna go ahead and do a light source over here, uh, like front, top, right, okay? So just not, nothing crazy, but you gotta be aware of this. If, you, if you're not paying attention to even thinking about a light source a little bit, you're really not painting. You're, you're coloring like a kid. You're just coloring, okay? You're not, you're not painting. Think about your light source. That's gonna determine where your highlights are and where your shadows are. So if we're gonna say our lights come from here, that kind of gives us something to paint rather than what I see a lot of students do typically is just kind of like paint around the outside or something. They don't really kind of like outline their characters with, um, you know, just, just whatever, a paintbrush, just not really doing light. They just don't really know what they're doing. They just kind of outline it. That's not what we want to do. That's not what we're after. Let's take a look here. Uh, let's see. Might take me a second to figure out what brush I want, but let's just start with, let's see what happens with that brush. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to my layers and I'm gonna lock the transparent pixels. All right, that's this button right here with the checkerboard on the layers. Lock in the transparent pixels. It's not lock in the layer, like the, like the ink layer, that is locked. Should be at least, okay? But this is locking the transparent pixels. So now I can only paint on anything with color. So uh, let's go ahead and start with skin. All right, so I'm just gonna zoom in. I'm going to select the color. Again, that is with option. And darken it up. And saturate it a little bit more. And if light's coming from the top right, there will be a shadow under his hat here. It's coming from the top right under his nose and on his nose on the right side. And his neck over here. See what I did? Looks okay. Um, let me go a little deeper. Okay, and under the neck here. Chin would, would definitely put a shadow there under the neck. Okay, now let's add a little color. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the original skin color, make it a little more red. And let's experiment with a color mode here. Um, soft light, overlay, 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 there we go. Okay, and I'm just adding a little bit of A little bit of red, too much already, in the middle of his face. A little bit of red on the lips, just a, just a slight change. I'm going to get yellow. Let's just see what happens here if I add straight yellow. Too much. So 
my opacity at? My opacity is really high. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Let's drop that down to 30. Actually, I don't want yellow there. What am I doing? What am I doing? I want blue there. Slate blue, so I changed. I got a desaturated blue here, and from what I understand, there's more blood vessels in the cheeks and the nose, so I can get a little bit more uh, red. The chin, there's a little less, so we're gonna a little more blue. The skull is a little more yellow because your bone is showing through a little bit. All right, not bad. All right, now let me uh, select the original color there, and I'm just going to give a little highlight. So I'm going to bring, drag that up, brightness up. Tip the nose a little bit. Cheek. A little different color there with blue, so I'm gonna highlight a little different color. It's a little butt chin. Ah, there we go. Let's keep going. So I'm gonna just keep on the same layer here, keep building my way forward. I think. Nah, actually I'm not. I'm gonna go to the next biggest thing. I'm gonna do his pants. So it's a clothing layer here. Just switching layers. Selecting that color. And I don't have to worry a ton about getting the exact right color. I mean, I, I do want to get the right color. But if I don't, um, it's not the end of the world. I can switch colors later. In Photoshop, it's very easy to do. Oh, I want to get out of overlay, by the way. Go back to normal. And this is the modeling stage where, where I'm kind of thinking of this like I'm creating forms. And it's and almost like sculpting form into the character. Okay, so again, light's coming from this side. I mean, shadows on this side over here on the left side. But you're also going to get shadows from things like this chest piece, this leather strap, this belt, this whole poncho thing. And this brush I've got going on, I'm liking it. Um, it is um, soft, but it also is leaving like a nice little streak as well. It's that one right there. Soft on the edges, but it still has kind of a defined shape. A little bit of a soft edge. It's actually a nice mix between being able to paint lightly and get a gradient and then getting kind of those hard, those hard lines. All right, his armor here. It's gonna leave a little uh, shadow. All 
All right, pretty cool. I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna select the original color, the original kind of bluish gray, line it up a little bit, add my highlight. All right, moving right along. Oh, nope, I forgot the highlight up here. On that part of the chest. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to this um, <coughs> gray undergarment here on a different layer. Okay, first I'm gonna model it again, go darker and a little more saturated the color. So as um, shadow, okay, so when things are shaded, uh, they actually, the saturation goes up a little notch. So don't know why, just the way it is. So you can add a little more color and things get like highlighted like this, the saturation uh, goes away. So it gets less, satur less saturated. Saturated means more color. So the shadows have a little bit more color than the highlights. All right. Just kind of picking out the big areas here. That poncho is pretty big. Let's do it. The poncho. Going for the shadow once again. So it's all the way saturated. If you look at that, that red. So I can only go deeper here. Okay, so once again, trying to pick the back. Side facing away from the light and the underside. The folds. Looks like it goes over there. All right, I'm just painting back a little bit in the original color and spots here. All right, and now the highlight. I'm gonna lighten that up and 
take away the saturation, take it down a little bit. Also bring in a little more orange, slightly. Let's see how that looks. Okay, I'm sure it looks good. It's got the little red and stuff on the on the uh, armor, but I'm not gonna do that yet. I'll wait on that. But I should do the armor. Okay, so armor's pretty dark. So let's see if I did it too dark or not. Once I add the shadow, so there's the original color, very dark. I go pretty close to black here. Okay, so thinking of the arms mostly as cylinders. And then adding the detail, like, to try and give it some uh, three-dimensionality. You heard that, that's my cat. Or, that's the two cats. One is always trying to wrestle the other one. Just so you don't think it's a tortured child or something. Here they are again. Pretty dark. I'm hoping the uh, highlight helps it out a little bit.
So, just shading the little tubes like they're little tubes and giving it a shadow on the um, left side. The key is being consistent. I think one of the keys, at least, in your lighting. So, you've got to think about where the light source is before you can even be consistent with it. I did want him to have black armor, so let's see. Okay. Highlight time. I'll trial near here. All right. I think I can deal with this so far. Going down to his legs. And Ch 
chess piece. somewhere here. I'm going to hit save just in case. Command S. And let's go for a little brighter highlight and see what happens here. I'm going to try it out. Maybe I'm not going to like it. Maybe I will. I don't know. So I'm giving it that last little shine here just to make it look like it's some sort of a harder material. Harder making it more reflective. Alright, dare say he's got some black, shiny-ish, not too shiny, a little bit dull, armor. Okay, and um, I think the rest we have are just little details to do. So we will continue that on the next uh, video and finish this thing up. See you then.